Hey what's up I'm Nezio Cole and over the past few months I've made quite a few videos on reshade which you can think of kind of like an Instagram filter for your games but I never made a tutorial on how to install it so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So the first thing you want to do is download reshade from the link in the description and open it up. Now this will just be a general tutorial but I'll be kind of focusing more on how to install it for Watch Dogs. So once you open it up you'll be greeted with a menu like this which shows all of the games on your computer. If you can't find the game, you might have to click browse and search for it manually. But since we're looking for Watch Dogs, we're going to scroll all the way down to the W's and make sure we click watch underscore dogs exe. This will also work for Watch Dogs 2, but make sure that you're not clicking the splash screen executable. Make sure it actually says watchdogs2.exe or watchdogs.exe. Once you find the game you're looking for, just press next. And now you're going to need to know what rendering API that the game uses. So you could always just look it up on Google, but there's a website that actually shows all of the different games that are compatible with Reshade. And I'll also have this linked in the description. So if we scroll down to the W's here, we can see that both Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2 use the Direct 3D 10 Plus. So that's DirectX 10, 11, and 12. So if we go back to Reshade, we can select the DirectX 10, 11, 12, and then press Next. You can press Next again. And there will be some default packages. Now these are different things that some reshade filters will require. You're just gonna have to look at the mod page for them. But for me, I usually just choose Sweet Effects and Quint, and then just choose Next. Then once you've installed all of that, you can press finish. And now I'll show you how to install custom reshade filters. So what you wanna do is go to your Watch Dogs game folder. You can do this at Steam by going to Watch Dogs, Manage, and then Browse Local Files. So once you get in here, you need to go to bin. And this is basically where you will need to drag your reshade files. So when you download a reshade file, it'll be in the format of a .ini. You can see I already have a couple of them in here. I have UHG, I have NextGen. So once you've installed reshade correctly, all you have to do is drag them into the bin folder. And again, this might be different if you're doing a different game and then launch the game. Now, once you've launched the game and if you've installed it correctly, there should be a prompt that shows the reshade version number and something that'll say reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. Now you can go through the tutorial, but I'm just gonna kind of show you everything that you need to know. Once you press the home button to launch the reshade menu, You'll have a bunch of different options, but you don't really need to worry about that. All you need to do is go up to this box right here and choose which reshade filter that you want to use. So if you want to use Apex, click it, then select, and then you have your Apex reshade or next gen cold and you can install as many reshade filters as you want you just have to drag them into the correct folder. There are a lot of other options in a reshade like you can manually tweak a lot of these settings if you want to. There's also some performance metrics and if you want to set a hotkey to say maybe toggle the effect, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of things that you can do with Reshade, but this was just a basic tutorial on how to download and install it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about the install process down in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.